Hey guys, well I have another Target haul and a few other items. So let's start with the non-food items. Actually went to DSW um, looking just for some new shoes. So I've had this brand I think one other time, the Kelly and Katie, um, got them in my true size seven. I wanted a pair of leopard flats and I already have a pair of leopard ballet flats, but these are more like little loafers. These reminded me a lot of the Nine West kind that I haven't been able to get because they've been sold out in most of the sizes for quite some time now. Um, these are like kind of the calf hair feel to them. And they were very comfortable as soon as I put them on. I thought they were super, super cute. So just wanted to show you those. Again, those are at DSW. I will try to link them um, below if I can. I needed some white, um, sorry, I know there's a glare because it's really cloudy outside, so I had to turn on a lot of lights. Had to get some tape for my label maker. This is white. I was running out of white. I used clear and white. Some of the Sonya Kashuk things at Target were on clearance. Um, I got this one for $7.68. It is in a color. I like this formula a lot. Um, the sheer pink lust that I raved about, I think last year or the year before, um, this is in melon and sheer melon. So I thought I would try that. It'd be a pretty color for spring. So I'm finally trying the Sally Hansen top coat. Several of you, um, last year when I did my review on the Revlon gel, um, top coat and the new polish asked me to do this because I wasn't satisfied with the Revlon. I decided not to buy this and it's kind of expensive. Like this is $9.99. But I wanted to kind of do a little experiment. So I'm going to do a review on this just using a top coat. Um, and I'll let you know when that happens. I've shown these, I think, before. They just go, you know, in your toilet bowls. Helps cut down, you know, on the cleaning. It has a nice scent. Uh, they're just the Lysol. Needed another pair of shower gloves. I always get either the Walmart brand or the Target brand, you know, just generic nail polish remover pads. These are great for vacation. Um, and I noticed I was running out last time. Needed some small trash bags. These go in our bathroom. Decided to go ahead and give the dry, Dev Dry Shampoo one more try. I don't know if you guys remember this, but a couple years ago when this first came out, I tried it, but um, it leaked. I only got to use it one time and it leaked. And I know so many people had issues with it doing that. So I am going to give it one more try and hopefully it works. So last week when we were at Target, when I showed you that haul, um, I saw they had display of the new um, in-shower body lotion by Nivea. Well, I looked at it, but I passed it up. Well, then, of course, I saw Melanie, uh, Mr. Kong's mom, and I'll link her channel below. She was raving about it, so that kind of sold me on it. Um, again, I'd wanted to try it, but wasn't quite sure. And then I got to thinking this will be great for my husband because he's terrible about putting lotion on. And so am I for that matter after the shower. Um, and he then said he would be really interested in trying it. So of course they have three different ones. This is for very dry skin and then they have dry and then normal dry. So they have different scents though too. And this is actually almond oil. And we thought we liked this scent better. I think the one in the middle is like shea butter in the light blue. And then they have a white one that was something else. Okay, so then I got this shirt. And I know the light is probably really washing it out. But again, I'll link this below. I've had um, a similar style from Target before. They just got these in. And I'm sure I'll probably end up going back to get. They had a really hot pink one. Um, it's just this nice, you know, roll tab sleeve. It's very like soft. Uh, material on the front and then like a jersey on the back and then it just buttons um, kind of midway down but it's just this really pretty um, bright like spring green color um, but that reminds me the navy and white striped um, swimsuit cover-up that I showed in last week's haul I had to return that because I bought a medium and it was way too big so that went back <laughs> Well, then we went to Kirkland's because I was looking for something specific, but then they didn't have it. I ended up getting this really pretty spring wreath because I needed a new one. Uh, the one last year, and I'd used it for a few years, it faded really badly. I loved it that it had this like really pretty burlap um, bow on it with this little bit of lace. It had just the really pretty flowers. I like have some pink and then some white, and then it has like, you know, some really light green. And then I always like wreaths like this because we have a pretty big front door, so I always need something um, a pretty good size. And if some of you remember, my fall wreath um, is made out of this base, but I just thought, if you can see the whole thing, it's just really pretty, springy, nice, really pastel color, so I can't wait to put that on the front door. Bought some water. 
And then let's get into the food haul. So um, I needed an avocado. I like to eat this sometimes just with chips or with an egg or something in the morning. Need an onion, um, some little baby bella mushrooms. I'm gonna just use these either with like a chicken dish or I've made my green bean and mushroom recipe before. Try to do that. I needed some lemon, celery, and this is my first time trying this. It's just, you know, grilled chicken, already, you know, cooked. I thought I would try this because I thought sometimes that just might be easy for lunch to put in a salad. Um, let me know if you guys have tried this. Hopefully it's good. Then we needed some ground turkey. I'm probably either gonna use these for tacos, uh, even though I already have one frozen, but I'm thinking I'll probably end up making turkey burgers so we can have for lunch. I uh, needed some chicken breasts. They were on sale, so I got two of them. And then also the steaks were buy one, get one half. And I've mentioned it before, but we really like these Sutton and Dodge from um, Target. These are the petite fillets. And I mean, look at that price, $7.99 for two. And this is a perfect size for us. So um, ended up getting two of those and we'll freeze the other two. I uh, got some pink lady apples. Husband wanted some oranges. Got some broccoli slaw, I've mentioned that before. I put these in wraps that I'll make um, for lunch. They're really good. So speaking of that, I got some turkey. Whenever I'm at Target, I try to get the healthy choice oven roasted, um, low sodium, all that stuff. Try to get the least amount of junk possible in lunch meat. So anyway, I'll have that for lunch. They actually didn't have the wraps that I buy, but I've shown those before, so I'm gonna have to get those somewhere else. I thought I would try this, um, the chop salad. They had different varieties. Um, I almost got the Southwest, but it has cilantro in it, and I don't like cilantro. Let me know if you guys have tried this. We thought this looked good. And then just regular leafy romaine, which is our favorite. I got some cashews because I actually have some cranberries. Um, we like to snack on some nuts once in a while anyway, like almonds or cashews, but I have some cranberries, so I thought that might be good to try to mix in. Some taco shells, sourdough bread. Um, we like to use this sometimes if we're making paninis or something like that. Regular bread. Um, this is like our favorite soup if I'm not making my own. And then my husband wanted a few to take to work for those days that he's in a rush and he just needs something really quick. So he got the beef pot roast and then he got the hearty chicken pot pie. I needed some garbanzo beans or chickpeas, whatever you'd like to call them. Some feta cheese, some tub butter, some little uh, cherry tomatoes, and some bananas. And then their shrimp was on sale, so I got the large raw shrimp. We'll put this, like, just have this in, like, a pasta or a salad or something like this. It just sounded good. We've been talking about shrimp for a couple weeks now. And then, of course, the standby uh, Totino's. I've mentioned this before. We always keep these on hand for just those days where... We're not real hungry. We just want something snacky or just to have as a snack watching a game or something. You know, it's just one of those staples that lives in the outside freezer. So I think that is it. So quite the haul today. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.